Now this is a still image of a 50 years old female. She has had a cholecystectomy a few months back, during which she developed stricture of the common bile duct because of, and because of that, uh, a stent was placed in the CBD, ERCP was performed. Now this is the stent, this area is the stent placed within the common bile duct which is measuring approximately 7.5 millimeter and it's norm almost normal uh, as the gallbladder has been removed. So without gallbladder up to 9 mm we take as normal. Now this is 7.5 millimeter uh, within normal limits and this is the this tubular structure bounded by ecogenic boundaries, linear structure is a stent placed within the common bile duct. This is the common bile duct. Now this is the wall of the common bile duct. This white band of tissue that you are seeing is the uh, wall of the common bile duct. The bile mayor, the, uh, sorry, the bile duct mayor is approximately a uh, wall of the common bile duct mayor is approximately 2.2 millimeter and this is significant because more than uh, 1.2 to 2 is the normal range. So this is suggestive of cholangiitis. As patient has fever, there is history of uh, fever with rigors and she is on antibiotics at the moment. Now there is another finding on, on the right side of your screen and this is You see, the, there is a, this is a cystic area well demarcated internally clear of any cause or calcification. Uh, liver is just fatty. Now this is a area with multiple non-communicating cysts of uh, variable size one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is the seventh one, and uh, not too big, measuring approximately, the largest measure, uh, measure is approximately 9.3, this, this one, millimeter, 9.3 millimeter, but they are uh, in the posterior segment of the right lobe, this is the right lobe of the liver, uh, this is the posterior segment, above the diaphragm we are seeing this uh, and there is a tiny calcification in one of the cis collection uh, multiple cis that we are seeing coalesced together in the uh, in the region of the posterior segment of the right lobe now these have echoes within it if you see there are echoes there these are echoes within it there are echoes so this is in, th in fact this is an um, multi-loculated abscess formation in the uh, region, in this region of the liver. This is, these cysts are all represented of uh, being uh, consistent with an abscess formation with septas within. And however, the differential will be, uh, the uh, most common will be the hydrated cysts. They also appear like this. Uh, cis within cis and Bengal sign, but this be, give, having the history and the procedure performed, this is post uh, procedural complication. <coughs> Let me show you in real time. Here you see this is the common bile duct, and you will see the stent within it. This is the common bile duct. This is the stent within it, and these are the cystic areas released together here that I was talking about initially. This is in the posterior segment. I'm giving a sweep to the probe to see if they change their shape. Now you see there are equals within this. Let's take one, one of these cysts, irregularly outlined, thick borders, internal echoes. This is one of them, these are the others.
So this is a case of another. There is no dilation of intrahepatic bile ducts, and this is a case of uh, cholangiitis with multiple uh, uh, tiny abscesses within the posterior segment of the right low post cholecystectomy uh, and MRCP and spinal replacement. Uh, this is the complication, post op complication. Thank you very much. Okay, now in the same area, the posterior segment of the right lobe, this one, multiple secular cystic areas with bands of uh, echogenic areas within. Now there is another differential for this, that is the Carolis disease type 2. In type 1 Carolis disease, disease, these cystic areas will be free of any internal echoes or calcification or anything, they, they will be internally clear and absolutely black. Now in the type 2 Carolis disease, there will be uh, debris as we are seeing over here in this, uh, let me magnify the particular area. Now you see, it's clear that there are echoes within these, these are all echoes, they have echoes. So, the second differential for this uh, multicystic area uh, can be uh, Carolis disease, which is the secular dilation of the intrahepatic bile ducts and uh, fibromuscular dysplasia, and uh, that can lead to, with the passage of time, uh, into biliary cirrhosis or carcinoma, but this does not, uh, this is not necessary as it is said in the bookish picture of be having a central dot within the, so, so central dot is not seen in, in any of these, so uh, I think I will suffice with the, uh, uh, all the differentials I have said you, informed you about. So first being uh, multiple abscesses all abscesses, small, or colleagues together and bounded by a vascular, sorry, a fibrous band, this is, they are bounded. And second will be the uh, hydrated cyst and the third one will be the Carolis disease. But let's see if it connects with the, any of the main uh, ducts, main carot, uh, hepatic duct and if you see this is the main duct it ends over here this one this is the stunt in fact so this is the main part of the uh, hepatic uh, ducts they are not uh, collision they, that is they are not communicating uh, with the ducts with the hepatic duct. Then we, uh, let me give a color doctor, color to it and see. So this is a cavernous, this is not consistent with cavernous ectasia. And the third will be, and the fourth differential will be multicystic uh, liver. Okay, thank you very much.